To ensure a long service life for hoist ropes, it is very important that they are wound onto the winch drums with sufficient tension. Even during normal everyday crane operations, the lower layers of the rope become loose after a certain time. For hoists without a load, or with just a small load and a high number of reavings to great heights, the rope will become loose as a result of the low rope pull. In other words, it will be wound without adequate tension. If a heavy load is then lifted, for example when refitting wind turbines, this loose winding of the lower layers may result in the rope on the drum pulling into the layers below. When it is extended, the hoist rope may be damaged, or, in an extreme case, it may even be impossible to unwind the rope. First of all, let's look at a demonstration to show the difference between loose and tensioned rope winding. First of all, winding the rope loosely. The rope has been unwound apart from the three windings to hold it. There is no load on the hook. The first layer is now wound on and a red mark placed on it. This process is repeated for each layer. After completely unwinding the rope, a load is now hoisted, in this case amounting to only around 10% of the maximum possible load. You can see clearly by the marks how the rope winds differently onto the drum because the rope is now taut and can be wound without any gaps. To prevent the rope from being damaged, we recommend that the hoist rope is wound up while holding a load at regular intervals. This does not take a great deal of time and can often be carried out during downtimes on site. We can now show you the procedure for a telescopic crane. First of all, the number of reavings required to unwind the rope fully must be calculated. A simple formula, length of hoist rope minus the length of the boom divided by the length of the boom. Using the LTM 1400-7.1 as an example, 470 meters rope length minus 60 meters boom length divided by 60 meters boom length equals 6.8. That means the rope must be reeved seven times. How high must the load be to achieve the tension required for winding? The load, including the hook block, should be at least 10% of the maximum line pull per reeving. For the LTM 1400-7.1, line pull 12.4 tons. 10% of this is 1.24 tons. 1.24 tons times 7 reavings equals 8.7 tons. Once everything has been prepared, the telescopic crane only has to be retracted while holding the load. For this crane, with a 60-metre telescopic boom, the action to extend the service life of the hoist rope required only 30 minutes. Next, we'll show the procedure for a lattice boom crane with a long boom. In our example, 114 metres. First, we calculate the required number of reavings. Rope length, 1100 metres minus 114 meters boom length divided by 114 meters boom length equals 
the rope must therefore be reeved nine times. And the required load. On the LR1600 too, the line pull is 18 tons. 10% of this is 1.8 tons. 1.8 tons times nine reavings equals 16.2 tons. On a lattice boom with a long system, only the radius has to be increased and the load repositioned. For long boom systems, it is not generally necessary to wind up the complete hoist rope, since the other part of the rope is required for the hoist anyway. To wind as much rope as possible with the required tension, the load can be reduced after the load capacity limit has been reached. Due to re-hanging of the load, the rope may be a little looser for the last few windings. Therefore, the radius has to be reduced slightly and the rope unwound a little. For this crane with a 114 meter lattice boom system, the action to extend the service life of the hoist rope only required 45 minutes. The procedure for a lattice boom crane with a short boom is a little more complicated, but can also be carried out on site. In our example, the boom is 66 meters long. So, 1100 meters rope length minus 66 meters boom length divided by 66 meters boom length equals 15.6. The rope must therefore be reeved 16 times. The required load, line pull 18 tons. 10% of this equals 1.8 tons. 1.8 tons times 16 reavings equals 28.8 tons. On a lattice boom with a short system too, the radius is increased and the load repositioned. Once the load capacity limit has been reached, the process has to be repeated with extended attachment equipment as often as necessary until around 75% of the hoist rope has been wound onto the drum. Nothing else is required, since the other part of the rope is in use anyway for the hoist. For this crane, with a 66 meter lattice boom system, the action to extend the service life of the hoist rope only required 60 minutes. Very important before a heavyweight hoist, if the hook block has to be re-reeved, please do not unwind the rope, but instead luff down the boom. Carry out the above procedures at regular intervals to significantly extend the service life of your hoist ropes. And one more thing you can do to protect your rope. Always use as high a number of reavings as possible to reduce the rope pull and therefore the wear. Don't worry, the hoist doesn't take any longer. This is ensured by the power control of our cranes. We wish you success with your everyday crane operations. <laughs>